Peace, peace, peace. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know, it's your boy Vix May Hope. I got a message for the brothers, man. We have to do something about our communities. We have to. We can't run around here and complain like the sisters, right? And then not figure out solutions on how we change our communities how we impact, how we make them safer. You know, how we assist in bringing about change. You can't have all these conversations about leadership and how we're supposed to be the leaders and we can't even lead our communities out of suffering. We can't. We can't be sitting here paying a lip service I see brothers all day and night on Clubhouse. I don't know if y'all know about Clubhouse, but I be on Clubhouse on time and time. I see brothers all day and night arguing with the women. Day and night. Day and night. Night and day. Just arguing on the app, on the audio app. Arguing with the women all day. Some of them try to assert themselves as, I'm, I'm not masculine, I'm macho. I'm a leader. I'm X, Y, Z. But you're on the internet arguing with women. You know, when when I didn't like what I seen in my community growing up, and I was a young man, when I didn't like what the Bloods was doing in the neighborhood, you know, like the oppressive stuff they were doing to neutral people, right? To women, to regular dudes, right? That moved into their neighborhood. How they try to extort people, how they try to just violate people, how they try to just feel was neutral, whatever, you know. They was just rolling over everything. When I didn't like what I seen and what they was doing, you know what I did? I joined the resistance. I turned crip. I got directly involved. And this is not to me to sit here and, and, and I'm not super macho, I'm not XYZ. I just knew there was a problem, there was an issue. I didn't like the issue, and I wanted to do something to change it. And I joined the opposite faction. Even though there was less in numbers, even though the odds was against me, whatever. I didn't care. I just knew there was a problem. I didn't like the problem, and I had to try to figure out a way to get rid of the problem. I got directly involved. And then I realized, even doing that, that the other faction being Crip was, wasn't that much of a difference. It was a difference, but it's still an oppressive group in the community. It's, I still contributed to harm in my community, right? I still ended up being around people who were snakes, who were untrustworthy, right? Who wasn't loyal, you know? So there were still issues in the streets regardless, because that's just the streets. So when I ended up in a situation behind my involvement, thinking I was doing something in the community, right? My Lord found me in distress, in need of guidance, and he guided me, right? He gave me direction. And all praise is due, right, for giving me direction at a very early age, because a lot of our men... You know, they become career criminals. They go in and out of jail, in and out of jail, in and out of jail. Some of these dudes then go into juvie, foster care. Like, they just been in the system all their life. So by the time they get to a certain age, they're already too far gone. See, I didn't have a lot of those issues. I didn't go into foster care and by the grace of God. And, and I wasn't going to juvie and I wasn't getting into a lot of these issues when I was younger. So I was able to rectify my wrongs in some in some ways, right? I was able to sit down. The Lord was able to guide me. I was able to reflect. I was able to learn. I was able to read, educate myself. And I made a commitment to come back home and help other lost brothers like I was lost. I made a commitment. So there's a lot of people that don't know what I do. There's a lot of people that don't know me. And that's cool. 
But I made a commitment to talk to younger people. To help them understand, like, yo, that, that's, that's not it. You know, a lot of our young men are feeling things, right? They're feeling frustrations. Fear. They feel powerless. You know, they feel like disposable, thrown away. People don't listen to them. People don't respect them. They're having a lot of emotions, right? And then growing up, when your testosterone levels start kicking in and when you, you, you're starting to produce more, you know, you're starting to step into your manhood more. And let's not mention if you ain't got no males around, if you ain't got no dad around, and you're you're trying to figure out, like, what is this this energy that you're feeling? What is this warrior spirit, this rebellious spirit? Right, what is, you know, you're trying to navigate the world and then you don't have no guidance. You don't have no sense of direction. I understand how confusing that could be. Right? And then we got some brothers who are choosing to just mind their business. Who are choosing to, like, not get involved. Unless it hit home, right? That's when everybody want to get involved with when something hit home, when one of these young Lord's brothers do something to your child, or do something to your daughter, or do something to your auntie or your grandma, that's the only time we want to get involved. But a lot of times we we walk around in our communities trying to mind our business and keep everything on the hush hush. Nah, bro, we 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 brothers, we we got to get right. We got to get right, brothers. Seriously. How long we going to be sitting here just complaining? And then we wonder why we don't get the respect that we claim we deserve. Because we ain't doing Nobody see us. And shout out to the brothers who, who are getting involved, right? Shout out to the brothers who are making a difference. Shout out to the brothers who... Got either non-profits or got like programs um, who are coming out with coming up with money out of their pocket, right? To trying to help some of these young boys and girls, um, you know, navigate the world, right? With all the confusion that is out there. Shout out to them brothers, man, that's doing the work. But a lot of us out here just minding our business. And we expect the community to get better. We expect to make, to bring about some change. And when situations transpire, we just minding our business. Like how many of us sit on community boards? How many of us are actually going to some of those meetings to see like what developments are, are coming about in our communities? How many of us are going to community events and being involved in what is taking place? Or what are the plans? Or at least making our voices heard so that they could take some of our input on what things that we might feel like could change or the community needs so it could be better. Like how many of us are supporting initiatives in our communities? Like we love to say we pro-black and we don't do nothing for black people. We don't do nothing for the black cause but sleep with black women. And we think for some reason... Like, you'd be surprised, man. I hear so many dudes like, I'm pro-black. I don't date interracially. I don't I only date black women. Bro, there's so much more to being pro-black than just sleeping with black women. That's all you care about? Like, a lot of dudes, all they care about is sex. All they care about who they sticking. You won't even try to stick around and try to be a mentor to that, to that, to that woman you sticking children. But we sit here and complain about that there's an issue. There's a single woman epidemic. But we won't even sit there. We won't even try to be mentor to their children. And we know some of us grew up without a father. But we won't even try to help. We won't even try to assist. Come on, man. And then we claim we want the community to get better. We don't want the community to get better. We don't. First thing that's coming out of our mouth is like, I didn't make that child. Why should I have to? What you mean? Why you? Sh because the bleeding child, the child that doesn't feel the warmth of the village, 
burns the village down. Like, you don't know the African proverb. I, I know I said it wrong. But, like, come on. The child who doesn't feel the warmth of the village usually burns the village down. And we have a bunch of those children running around. But we don't want to get involved and try to help, try to mentor, try to coach, try to do certain things. But maybe it's because a lot of us, we don't even got our own stuff together because we still struggling with our manhood and our masculinity. That might be that might be the reason. But we got to do something, brother. We got to get together. There's already people out there already doing some work. So a lot of us might not have to start from scratch. And, if, if, and sometimes you do have to start from scratch. You might have to come up with something that nobody has seen yet. Right? But we, we, we just can't be complaining on these podcasts on the internet and not take initiative to get our communities back on track if we are real leaders. Let me know what y'all thought y'all in the comment section. Peace.